Hello, welcome to Introduction to Environmental Science. My name is Dr. Sarah Dilling. I am your professor this semester for the course. Welcome to the first day. This video is going to be a quick introduction to myself so that you feel like you can get to know me. Taking an online class sometimes has its challenges in that there is no face-to-face -face interaction with the professor and for me with you, the student. So I thought maybe this semester I'd try to make more videos that include me talking. Um, maybe they'll give you a sense of getting to know me as a professor and being comfortable asking me questions and everything throughout the semester. So the very first video that I'm making, it's gonna go through the syllabus. Same type of thing that you're gonna see in every single class on that first day. And I wanna to try to simulate and make it as close to an on-ground class this semester as I can for you. So let me switch my view, that way you can see my computer. All right, so you'll see now on my screen, I kind of switched everything up, made myself smaller on the side. I'm looking at the FSW homepage. If this is your very first online class, um, all of your course information and platform you'll be able to find right here on Canvas. So you'll get an email from me welcoming you to the class. There'll be some links, this video, and the first thing you should do is go into Canvas. So I'm going to get into Canvas. If my computer's already signed into it, but it's the same sign in that you would use for your FSW email. Use your username and password and it lets you in. The main dashboard you see here is the uh, showing you what classes that you're taking this semester. Mine may look a little different at this point because I'm still in faculty view. I haven't switched over to student view just yet. So let me take a second and switch to student view. All right, so I clicked in the dashboard. Um, the environmental science section 800 this is the main home page for the class in this video I'm really just going to go through the syllabus there are other videos that you can watch that will show you how to access mastering environmental science which is the main platform for Pearson and talk about kind of website navigation but again this is just kind of going to go over the syllabi you can click here to access the course syllabus it allow you to download it, and here is the syllabus for the class. The first few um, pages of the syllabus is kind of standard to what you see in every single class. So I'm going to scoop down to requirements for the students. All right, grades in this class is based on four different areas, your chapter quizzes, your labs, your assignments, midterm and final. Everything is completed on Canvas or Mastering Environmental Science. So really everything through this Canvas website uh, is completed with the class. The only thing that you cannot do from home is take your midterm or final exam unless you set something up through ProctorU or with another institution uh, like a pro because it's a proctored exam. So you have to have it proctored. Someone has to either watch you with a webcam through ProctorU or go into the FSW Testing Center to take your midterm and final. I'm going to scooch on down. There are four orientation assignments that have to be completed the first couple, first week of classes. Um, this is to verify attendance. FSW will not release any of your financial aid until attendance verification is completed. So there's four quick uh, assignments that need to be done. That way I can verify that you're actually attending the class. And they're all laid out in that first week activities section. Uh, if we go back to the website, if you scroll, here we go, down, first week activities. Everything is right here. These are the four attendance verification um, things that need to be completed. They're pretty easy. I just need you to kind of go through the process that way. I know that you're actually attending the class and your financial aid can be distributed. So once that's done, then we're gonna move on to the course and I'll go back again, sorry to flip flop around on you. I do give you a little bit of time to get situated, to buy your textbooks, uh, to get everything in, in hand before I really start requiring things to be due. So your very first due date for chapter one and two, they're combined in this first section, is September 9th. So I give you a little bit of time to kind of buy your textbook, get familiar with Canvas, you know, read through that first chapter before, the first two chapters before we really get started. So your chapter quizzes are 25% of your grade for the class. There are 10 required chapter quizzes. Uh, each of them have 20 multiple choice items. 
at the end of every chapter quiz, there is one additional question, which is strictly extra credit. You do not have to answer it. Um, the maximum points that you can get with a reading quiz is 105. So 100 for the quiz and five extra points for extra credit if you complete the extra credit. Um, there are due dates that are on the homepage and here in the syllabus. I do accept late work, but there is a 10% penalty for every day that you turn it in late. And then after 10 days, all of the penalty equals the grade. So I don't accept anything really after 10 days of the due date. And you'll see the grading policy for chapter quizzes. The quizzes are taken within Mastering um, Environmental Science, which is the Pearson platform for this class. There is another video that shows you how to access Pearson. You'll find that in the first week activities page that I just showed you through seconds ago. Your labs are also 25%. They're set up similar to the quizzes in that you still take it through Pearson. The questions are a little bit different. Um, it's not so much like a quiz, it's more of an activity, kind of going through and, and learning concepts and doing different activities with the labs. Um, they vary between five and 10 questions, kind of depending on how involved each question is. And there are 10, and again, um, I do accept late work, but there is a 10% penalty for every day that is late. At the end of the semester, I drop the lowest quiz and lowest lab grade. So if there's some week that you're really sick and you didn't complete a lab or a quiz, it'll be dropped at the end of the semester. Or if there's just a chapter that you didn't do very well, your lowest grade for your lab and quiz will be dropped. So we'll scooch on down to assignments. Um, there are several assignments this semester. The first one is your ex uh, exploration activities. This is the first semester that I'm actually trying these. And so sorry, you're my guinea pigs about how these are gonna go. There, there are five of them and they kind of act as virtual field trips. They're not difficult to complete. Um, it's something that will show you in the world, real world what you're learning about in the textbook. And I think that you might enjoy them. It's something a little bit different. Like I said, there's only five of them. It's not like there's a whole bunch of them. And at the, at the end of the semester, once again, the lowest um, expo exploration activity will be dropped. So if you don't do well in one of them or you forget to complete one of them, it's not a big deal. In the past, I had discussion questions that were set up in the assignments. And I took out the mandatory discussion questions and added in these virtual field trips. Excuse me. I think that you will enjoy the virtual field trips a little bit better than the discussion activities. Also, there is a one and a half to two page opinion paper that you'll write this semester. Um, this is another activity that students really seem to enjoy. I'm, I have you watch whatever sort of environmental docu. Uh, uh, you watch an environmental documentary. Uh, sometimes controversial depending on what you choose and then you write a one and a half to two page paper um, a third of it being the pro to the issue a third of it being the con to the issue and then the last third being your actual opinion so in the past people have watched documentaries like blackfish and so they'll talk about both sides of the issue of having killer whales in captivity so the pro to doing it the con and then what your your personal opinion is on that issue. Um, it, I really don't get picky about which documentary you watch. It's just something that you're interested in. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be environmental. I would like it to be because that's the course that you're taking. But if you wanna you know, watch a documentary on uh, eating meat, I think there's a new one about how meat is unhealthy for you to eat or some of these other documentaries that are really popular right now you're more than welcome to watch them as long as you just write the one and a half to two page paper telling me your opinion pro con and then yours. Midterm and final exam is 30%. 15% being the midterm, 15% being the final exam. These are proctored exams. You have to go into the testing center to complete them. Um, and there's more information here that you can always read through. Those dates are set right from the beginning, of your midterm and your final. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to take midterm and final. I give you a week to take both of them. And so just make sure you get it cleared with your schedule, work schedule, school schedule, whatever you need to get that figured out. 
All right, attendance policy, this is an online class. Um, I would like you to sign in to Canvas at least once or twice a week, if not more, and make sure that you stay on top of everything with the class so you don't fall behind. Again, here are your percentages. Quiz is 25%, labs 25%, assignments 20%, midterm and final 30%. Normal grading scale. Um, this is your required course materials. I have a whole video that talks about the textbook, so you can find that in another video, but everything is here for you to read. The other video is very comprehensive that is only about the textbook. Here is the course schedule. You'll see everything lined out. All of your due dates are on Saturdays. Try to make it a little bit easier for you if you have other things going on during the week to have the due date set on Saturdays. There is a Friday due date at the end of the semester only because that's the last day of classes. Office hours, I teach strictly online, so I'm not on campus very often. If there is a, ever a time that you would like to meet, we can just set something up um, through email and I'd be more than happy to come to the Lee County campus to meet with you. So just feel free to email me. Here is my school email, sarah.dilling at fsw.edu. This is a typo. So it's just Sarah Dilling, there's no D at the end, at fsw.edu. Um, I do have my cell phone here as well if you have an urgent emergency. Um, I ask that you only call me during normal business hours, not Friday at you know 12 o'clock at night or any other crazy times. And on the weekends, I can't guarantee that I'm going to answer. But if you do have an emergency, please feel free to call me. And then you can go through and kind of read the expectations about distant, distance learning and communication. Uh, an online class is, can be difficult because really it's on you to stay on top of your coursework. I'm not here to kind of stay on top of you and tell you you forgot to turn something in. And it's more of an independent learning type of class. Um, I am here to help you and guide you if you need anything. But being an online class, you're kind of in charge of your own destiny and your own grade. But I am here if you need anything. I try to make all of the information pretty straightforward and how to get to it, how to find everything. But please, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me at any point. I hope that you have a wonderful semester. Thanks for listening to me rattle on about your very interesting syllabus. And um, if you have any questions, email me. Thank you. Have a great day.